Hey everybody, I want to get on here. I want to do some of your all's rapture dreams tonight, but I'm starting to get under the weather. It's been coming on for a while now. I just actually done one of those C tests, but it came up negative. I'll do another one in the morning, but just keep me in your prayers because, you know, I have distant family that's over there. That's quite a bit away from me, but I always worry if I get sick because I don't have no help. I always help everybody else, but I don't have no help. You know, but I know I've got God, and that's all I have. So, just worries me. The last time I got really, really sick is when my mom passed away. So, it's like bad flashbacks because we both got sick at the same time, and I couldn't help her. It was so bad at that time. It was just so bad. But I want to get on here. There was some good news today. Something very special happened. Now, there was a lot of people that was very aggravated with me because they said I was teaching you something wrong. And that's something that I never want to do. I don't want to lead any of you all wrong at all. I know Jesus loves you, and, you know, my whole life has just been trying to help Jesus. What can I do for you? What do you need me to do? Where do you need me to go? You know, and when he told me to tell you all he was coming... You know, that's what I've done. I've got on. I started ringing the bells because I know he loves you. You know, and God's been good to me. So I wanted to get on here and try to reach as many people as possible because I know he loves you. And he loves me. And But today, you know, I had a lot of flat, you know, flat coming back at me. And I was like, Lord, I don't want to lead them wrong. I said, I know what I've read, and I tell them to read it for themselves. I said, I, I said, you know, just give me a sign. Well, I fell asleep because I didn't feel very good. And I saw a white floor, and all I had was a number five on it. And I woke straight up. I mean, it was just instant. It was just I slept for a second and woke up. That's all I saw was a five. All night... Well, then after that, I didn't think nothing else of it, and I was talking to Bonnie, and I said, you know, I had the strangest vision. It was so real, but it was just number five, and then something just told me to look it up. You know what it meant? It meant Abba. He was letting me know what I'm teaching you is right, to tell you he's coming. About broke me down, I'll be honest with you, because he's never done that with me. Now I've been with him a long time. He's never sent me a direct message. I mean, that bold, that out there, I mean, it was plain as can be. Five on a floor, and look it up, and it just, it means Abba. He was letting me know that I'm not leading you wrong. I'm telling you what he wants me to tell you. And I knew that. That means he was signed off on me because I didn't want to make him mad. I didn't want to be teaching you all wrong, telling you wrong that he's coming, and he's not. I just wanted to make sure, because I don't want to do that to you. I don't want to. I don't want to sit here and kill your hope. That's not who I am. And the longer we're together before the rapture, you'll learn that about me. I don't want to lead anybody wrong. I don't. I know what I read. I know you're supposed to divide the gospel. Learn how to divide it. And I was really bad with the gospel until I learned how to do it. And once I learned how to do it, I learned quite a bit more than what I ever did. But I was still worried. I did not want to do that to any of you all. So if anybody's ever in the comments saying that, you know, I'm trying to teach you wrong, I know I'm not now because he signed off on it. He wanted me to let you know he is coming. That's why. That, that number five meant Abba. It was a direct message from him. That he is coming. So. Don't let anybody tell you he's not. Because I mean it was confirmed to me. That's what it was. And. I really appreciate that he did that. Because I don't want to do that to you. I love each and one, every one of you guys. I don't know you. One day I will see you in heaven. Each and every one of you. And. I'm very happy to do that. I, I can't wait, actually, to meet all of you. You all have made my time for this Christmas very, very worth it. 
been by myself this Christmas, and I, I know I'm never alone. I've got God, and I talk to God all the time. But, you know, what? just seeing all of y'all's messages, your emails, you all have helped me as much as I help you. And I love you guys for that, and you gals, each and every one of you, and your families. But just know that he's coming. And after seeing that, I knew I, I will never question it again. I'm doing what he told me to do, and he was letting me know it's okay. This is what I want you to do. You're on the right track. He's coming. And I thank all of you all to help everybody in the comments and spreading the gospel to other channels and telling everybody Jesus is coming. Thank you for helping Abba, our Father. And he won't forget each and every one of you all that are out there going through all this and everything that you're going through. He knows what you're having to deal with. He knows what you're going through. And he's coming for us. So don't you fret. Don't let anybody tell you he's not. And I promise you, you out there that's lost, you just call upon Jesus. He said in the last days, you just call upon him. You call him into your life and he'll come and you'll be saved. Don't let anybody tell you different. He loves you. He's a God of mercy. These people that tell you this stuff and these comments and everything, that's not Jesus. They're teaching you another Jesus that does not exist. I will tell you this. Now, there was a dream I had and I wouldn't release it until now. I had it about a couple months ago. I got a timetable from God. It's been probably about maybe two, two and a half months ago. And in that dream, I saw certain things. First of all, I saw a great earthquake, but I didn't know where I was. Ever, there was trains off the track. It was really, really bad. Buildings was collapsed. And I heard Jesus say, San Francisco, son. This is San Francisco. And then... After that, I saw the Statue of Liberty, but it wasn't the Statue of Liberty in New York. There was two statues, like it was like statues you would buy. They're about maybe six feet tall, and they turned black. They wasn't green. And then in the third, I saw five trumpets, not trumpets like you blow. I saw like the the, the plants. The little trumpets, I love them. You can get them. They're like flowers, but they're like trumpet flowers. And I saw five of them. And I was, I was like, why? And they was out in the middle of nowhere, and I was trying to save them and bring them back home. After I saw the five trumpets, I saw people that had survived a big blast. You know what I'm talking about. I don't want to say the name on here. I might get a strike. But big mushroom clouds. And I saw people in homes that was, and their skin was melted off. They was deformed. They were survivors of, looked like World War III. And after that, I saw the aftermath of the world after this war. It wasn't me. I was looking down at all this stuff. It was not me in the dream. It was me looking down at it. It was a timetable. But after I saw the big mushroom cloud war, and the people that was left, there was no groceries, there was no food. People barely had things to sell in stores. But I saw a man going to and from. And he would go into a store and wave his hand and things would appear. And people bowed to him. I mean, anything they wanted, he would just wave his hand and it would appear. And I'm like, what in the world? And then I woke up. And I know I couldn't release that to a certain time. And today, I've got approval to release it. But the first of it was San Francisco. Major earthquake. It was, it was in ruins. Second, I saw the Statue of Liberty turn black. Third, I saw the aftermath of a war. A bad one. People was deformed. It was just horrible horrible 
Then the fourth one, I saw this man going to and from, picking up all the pieces for the people that didn't have no food anymore. There was no, it was just bad up on this earth. But wherever this man went, everybody followed him because he could give them anything they wanted and they would bow to him. But that's the four things I saw, including the trumpets, the trumpet flowers, and there was five of them. But I would not release that until now. And I don't know why today it's okay to release it. I've, I've thought about it, but today I can release it. And I saw that two and a half months ago. And that's not saying there's a post trip or anything. I wasn't me. I was looking down. I was being shown this stuff into the future. What was to come. But I think I saw markers. I saw San Francisco, major earthquake, something with New York. Then I saw the aftermath of a war when people was deformed from mushroom clouds. And then after that, this man's going to and from country to country, giving people what they need to rebuild their lives, and they worship him. So that's what I saw. And like I said today, I got the message of Abba. Letting me know that now I'm on the right path. I'm not leading you guys astray, which I knew I wasn't. But the thing is, it was just, you know, I don't want to mess up with God or anything like that. I'm like, maybe this is not my job. Maybe I shouldn't be on here. And he was letting me know, no, you're doing fine. You're okay. Don't listen to what these people are doing. They're the ones leading people astray because they're not dividing the gospel the way you're supposed to. So that made me feel a lot better. So keep me in your prayers. Like I said, I'm... I'm been coming down with stuff for a while but today it's really starting to hit me so just pray that god keeps his hand on me and i can get through this with no repercussions or anything so i just want to get on here and tell you guys i love you and i will get to those rapture dreams and what i'm going to do is discuss all the emails that i get and i'm going to start doing videos with that but you might have to give me a little while God might come back before I get to do it because I'm trying to come down with this junk. I said, it's perfect time. The rapture's probably getting ready to come and here I am starting to get sick. So hopefully it comes fast so I can maybe pass this junk up. But just be ready. He's confirmed. He's coming, okay? Don't let nobody take your joy away from wanting to see Jesus and loving Jesus. Because he loves you. He knows each and every one of you, and he, I, I know he thanks you for everything you're doing, for spreading his word that he's coming. He thanks you. I know he does. Because you're trying to save as many people as you can, and he won't, I know that he appreciates that. Just like he does me, that's why he gave me the number. He's letting me know, you're doing good. Be calm. It's a storm that's coming. And, it, and you're going you're gonna to be just like me. He said, they ridiculed me. And look what they've done to me. And what they've done to me, you're no better than what I was. And that's the truth. We're no better than him. He was prosecuted, and we will be too. But they know not what they do. Our lost brothers and sisters, they're just blind. We can't get aggravated. We can't get mad at them. We just got to pray that the Holy Spirit wakes them up. I love you guys. Don't forget that. You can email me anytime. Never forget that. You're my brothers and my sisters. I don't care what nation you're from, what color you are. I love each and every one of you the same. And if you don't see me again, the raptures, you'll see me in heaven. Well, there's no more videos. We're out of here. So... I want to say I love you. I might do another video. I don't know. I'm not just not just not feeling well. But just keep me in your prayers and I'll keep you in mind, okay? God bless you all. Keep spreading the word. Keep telling everybody Jesus is coming. Just you got to mow through all the stuff that's going to come against us. And it's going to be a lot, I'm afraid. Jesus loves you. If you're lost, call upon Jesus. Just remember, he died on the cross. You can't get in for works. And a lot of these post-trib people, they think it's all about works. It's not works. You're going under Paul's gospel. You're under the gospel of grace. And a lot of brothers and sisters are posting a lot of stuff underneath you to tell you where to go to find it. 
but you're under Paul's gospel. He is our apostle for the Gentiles. We're not the Jews. There is a rapture. He's coming to get his church. And I know that today more than ever because he's confirmed it. He's coming. Get ready. Believe that Jesus Christ died on that cross for your past, present, and future sins. And the only way through is through him. But you've got to have faith. You've got to know in your heart that that's what he did and he rose on the third day. And you're saved. You're saved, okay? You're saved under the time of grace. But the time of grace is, is coming to an end. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until next time, if you don't see me again, I'll see you in heaven.